what do we have here? I have the Delphin Course, a 10 volume set, first edition, which was printed in 1901. This is really cool. Where did you guys get these? I got them at a swap meet. So obviously you guys shop at the same store? <laughs> 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 we came to the pawn shop today to sell our Delphian course. This particular set was a liberal arts education for women. It's definitely a cool set. It looked great on my bookshelf for years. <laughs> <laughs> we tend to move a lot more than we used to and to lug them around from place to place is just too much to bear. <laughs> Back late 1800s, early 1900s, publishers were making lots of sets of books like this because it was a way people could get educated without going to college. You know, basically they were like book clubs. And uh, Delphian was for women. Say you live in a small town, you know, your husband worked, you took care of the kids, but you read a book at night and one day a week your club met. They had intellectual discussions and they talked about what they read about that week. It was a social thing and you got to learn right. something. These cover just about everything. It was a really liberal arts thing. Medieval stories, history of music, conduct of life. This set of books, you know, would last you for years. By the time you were done, you had a much broader understanding of the world. It was a great thing for the time. So what do you want to do with them? I want to sell them. I'm tired of moving them around. <laughs> books can get heavy, yes. Yes. <laughs> How much do you want for them? 250. <sighs> I know the second edition sold for 150. That person was really lucky. <laughs> Just because something's a first edition doesn't mean it's worth a lot of money, okay? When you talk about volumes like encyclopedia sets and volumes like this, they just don't sell well. I would give you 50 bucks for it. Hmm. Could you go 100? No. Oh. They're nice books and everything, but they're just not that collectible, plain and simple. Would you do 60, because that's easier to split? Do you guys bad math or something? Yes. <laughs> I give you 50 bucks, that's it. OK, deal. All right. Cool, man. Thanks. All right, let's go up here. I'll write you up. Okay. Thanks. We made 50 bucks today. We're going to go have a nice dinner. I saw a really nice print I want to buy that's $60, so and you can't split that, can you? No. Hmm. You'll probably win, as always.